At the age of 80, French photographer Hugues Vassal is still intent on paying homage to his muse, Edith Piaf. To mark the 50th anniversary of the iconic singer's death, he has opened an exhibition on her last 10 years in the French city of Tours. Vassal started his career as Piaf's official photographer and became her close friend and confidant. As such, he witnessed key moments in her life. This is 1960. She was getting ready for a show at the Olympia Music Hall. She was rehearsing Milor. Here you see singer-songwriter Georges Moustaki at the piano. She's singing Milor, and rehearsals went on and on, sometimes up to midnight or two in the morning. Piaf was not only famous for her singing, but also for her rich love life. The artist had a string of lovers, many of whom were also singers or composers. When she was together with Félix Martin, I once saw her knitting. She said, I'm knitting for Félix. On another occasion, I saw her knitting again. She said, I'm knitting for Georges Moustaki. Later, she was knitting for the singer Charles Dumont, of course. But I never saw any of the sweaters finished, as she had usually moved on to another lover before she'd finished the knitting. Towards the end of her life, Piaf surprised everyone by marrying Theo Sarapo, a young Greek man, 20 years her junior. This is a very moving picture for me because Edith passed away six months later. She'd just come back from tour and she was fading, going out like a candle. She was walking in the park and she turned to me and said goodbye. It was Piaf's impressive voice which saved her from poverty and from the street. At the age of 20, she started performing at a cabaret in Paris and her career took off. Her shows at the Olympia were sold out and when the director of the music hall came and asked her for help in 1960, she was there for him. Edith, 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 Edith help me, he said. I'm going to have to shut down the Olympia. The banks have pulled out. I'm ruined. Edith looked at him and there was a moment's suspense before she said with a smile, Come on, listen. Your Olympia is saved. And she performed Non, je ne regrette rien. She sang that song for three months running without getting paid, and the Olympia was saved. In return, the stage often saved Edith Piaf from depression, helping her through the hardest times when her daughter died and later when the love of her life, Marcel Cerdan, passed away. Piaf was seriously ill and died in October 1963. Two million people took part in her funeral in Paris. There was a huge crowd. At the graveyard, the whole team was there following our boss, our mother, the soul of our lives. Each of us shared our own little secret with Piaf, and I said to my friend Jean Oli, look, she's sold out again. In all, Hugues Vassal took some 10,000 photos of Piaf. He went on to travel the world as a photographer and set up the prestigious Gamma photo agency with Raymond Depardon and others. <laughs>